This is grounded. We're on Xbox One X. It is indeed enhanced. It's also Play Anywhere title. It's on Xbox Game Pass. It is a work in progress, so it is a Xbox uh, preview program title, so it is going to change gameplay-wise. Uh, before we get started, I'll also note that this is a cooperative game. I kind of, kind of cool to have others join in, but I didn't think about setting that up. Uh, anyways, uh, be sure to like the stream. If you do have questions about the game during or after, I'll try to help out, so you know, feel free to ask. And I hope you enjoy the action as we jump into this and hopefully have a pretty good time with it. Who don't want to be Willow Pete Hoops? Max looks kind of cool. Got like the thing going on there. Ooh, we'll play Hoops. I don't know. It'd be cool if there were like character customization options present or something. You make your own character, but I think they're set in story wise because this is an obsidian title. Also, really looking forward to their Avowed game. That one's going to be. Quite mighty, at least I think so. It, it's got a lot of potential with that one, especially with it apparently being a uh, kind of, I guess you could say it's supposed to be like Skyrim esque, but bigger and more intense. So hopefully that's good, and hopefully this is a lot of fun to play and has cool aspects to it. And this is right from the start. I haven't played this yet, so. Oh, what was I skipping there? Yeah, I think the performance needs to be worked on slightly. Oh, this is so cool. Hey. Kind of like a honey I shrunk the kids kind of thing. What? Like, like I've seen the trailers and stuff, but I haven't, you know, played the game yet, if that makes sense. Like I haven't touched it, I didn't touch it during the preview thingy. You can make your own character on Boundless. Okay. Really wanted me to check out that Boundless game. You know what, I'll, I'll try to give it a whirl next time I'm on the PlayStation. Knock it down hoop style. Okay, so we gotta analyze stuff. Cool. I'm guessing this isn't the only one of Find more evidence. I should keep searching and see what else I can turn on. Probably gonna need all this stuff. Can I throw it on the scanner? Analyze. Oh, science stuff. Cool. Whoa. I'm not just small. I'm tiny. This is freaking awesome. But how the heck did I... This actually is some story stuff here. Hmm. This is gonna be a lot of fun with other people, though, like, building, like, forts and stuff. Is that a little ant? Wouldn't the ants be bigger because I'm little? Or is that, like, a little ant within a little thing and I'm a big thing in here? Yeah, that's kind of funny. Okay. <laughs> I just... You see how gushy that was? It's like... Is it a basketball court? What is this? Investigate the mysterious machine. Is this gonna turn me large again at some point? Okay. Unblock the obstructed laser. Okay. Do I actually have to do this? I'm honestly not too sure. Hmm. I need to eat food too. Oh geez, yeah, it is a survival game. What am I stuck with? What what is obstructing the, the laser here? Like Is it on top that something is obstructing the laser or is there a signal problem on the interior? I like that you can kinda jump pretty high though. You know what I mean? I need a tool. Hmm. Lots of little bugs and stuff. I think we're gonna have to come back to this and check it out. Yeah, I guess, I mean, if the Boundless thing sounds like it's up my alley, you know, next time I'm on the platform, I'll give it a whirl and see what it's like. I mean, I keep seeing it mentioned, so, yeah. New crafting ideas. Let's see what we have here. We have crafting options. Woven fiber. We need tools. We need sprig. We need a woven fighter. Okay, cool. This is gonna, the fiber is gonna be our essential thing, isn't it? And then we're gonna be able to make like an ax. I'm assuming it's gonna be helpful. We need some pebbles and we need some spring. Gotcha. I'd also wanna get like a camp going, right? Clovers. It's kinda cool, like the, here's the big house. I'm assuming this is maybe my yard. It's kind of a, a neat concept. I'm surprised other games haven't done like a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids type thing. Or was there a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids type of game back in the day, you know? Back when those things were out, because I think those movies are fairly old at this point, right? Down you go! Can I eat the evil meat? 
Should I eat the meatball meat? Sounds kind of dirty. It's edible. How do I eat it? Hmm. That was food. I think it's weakening the lasers. There's just so much stuff to do. I like how it kind of throws you out into the action, though, because it's like... I'm just out to go, right? I, I like games like that. They just shove you out there, and they're like, have fun. It. Kind of fun. I need pebbles, though. Find water. Yeah, water's probably important, but I need... I need another pebble, and then I can make uh, my little axe. Yeah, there we go. Let's see what we're doing here. Purple axe. Or should we have made a spear? Yeah, there we go. Great, so we got ourselves a little axe here. Oh, I'm pretty good. Hi. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good today. Uh, watching some uh, early Netflix stuff to review pretty late last night. One of my favorite shows. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Feeling pretty good. Just excited to jump in here and... You know, try the game out because I've been waiting a while for it. So, so oh, okay. So it splits off into plant fiber. Okay. Does that skip a step, or that does that just make that just makes that easier? So we make one of these. So we're probably gonna. Oh, cool! You can make a, a mite hat. That's kind of funny. Snacks. Get a canteen's probably gonna be important. It's kind of like a little bit of an icky game too, if you know what I mean. Like, uh, just in terms of, like, these little kids out in the backyard, and it's like, they're little tiny, and they gotta, like, squish bugs and, like, eat them and stuff to survive. Yeah, it's kind of funny. And large things into smaller, more portable particles. Hmm. Maybe I should make a spear next, or a bow? I'm sorry, there's just, like, there's so much to do, I feel like I'm just, like, thrown out here. So that's my field station, that's the mysterious machine. Pretty big area, too. So the quests. Unblock the obstructed laser, find water. So I guess this is a, a plank. Well, obviously it says plank on it. Uh, how am I doing this? I, I use a, a capture card to do the streaming. I don't do it directly off the Xbox. Uh, but yeah, again, thanks for asking how I am and stuff. They didn't add the option to stream to YouTube. I'd like if they would, but they, they didn't add that option to the console yet. I, I do it with a third party thing, which I need to get an upgraded version of. I'm debating on that. I just want to get something that does 120 FPS with my streaming. Well, not streaming, but with my recording so that I'm prepared. Because I'm looking at this like $600 kind of advanced capture card, if that makes sense. And, uh, you know, I'd like it to be usable the whole generation. So, it's sort of like, do I buy now, or do I wait for something that does 120 FPS, if you know what I mean? I don't know what the analyzing really does, is it like a science thing? So do I... Like, unload Huck, so I can Huck this. But my question is, like... You know, obviously these are gonna help me build bigger things, how am I gonna unlock... New stuff to build? If you know what I mean, like, can I make a... A workbench. How do I make a workbench? Bench tools. Armor glue. Wires workbench for all this stuff. But how do I... Oh, base building. A wall. Okay, so I need to get a bunch of grass planks and then I can make walls, meal prep, utilities, a workbench. So I need grass planks, sprig, and sap. Okay. Cool. So I'm just gonna start cutting down some trees, and then I guess I gotta pick kind of a, a place for a base, right? It looks like my tool does break down a bit. There's some grass uh, planks. That's good. Awesome. And uh, guys, I hope you're enjoying the stream. Uh, you know, be sure to like it so that more people can check it out. If you do have any questions during or after, uh, let me know, and I'll try to help. We got the dry grass coming down. I'm assuming that does something a little bit differently. Uh. I don't know if we have like a big limit on inventory, but what I really need is I need to get going on my utilities. So I need, well, we can get the grass planks easy. A little bit more sprig, but we need sap. Where do we get sap from? Go to entry. Bus will stick you oozes from roots and fallen branches. Okay, so we just gotta learn, you know, what kind of knocks sap down. 
So roots should be this stuff, right? I don't know if that's actually the kind of root that brings me that kind of thing. All right, like obviously I just started this for the first time here, so I'm kind of like going here. Oh, this is grounded. The game is literally called grounded. And again, it's like a honey, I shrunk the kids kind of game. You know, it's kind of a larger than life kind of thing. Thank you for your ant parts. <laughs> I can make ant knee guards now? That's awesome. Okay, so I probably shouldn't hit that because I gotta slightly conserve my stuff. Plant fiber. Where's the uh, the sap at? You know what I mean? Like, I, I need to get some, it said, roots and stuff like that, right? Oh, so it's just on roots. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, no, that makes sense. And then we're on a giant baseball. This is so cool. Like, I, I really like the sense of, like, I'm in this, like, big, larger-than-life, they call it, area and stuff like that. What do you need to get from your stream? Well, I use a, a capture card, so you, you would probably need a capture card to do that. So you gotta go buy, like, a PVR a capture card. You gotta look into it, man. There's, like, an extensive uh, amount of things to do streaming and stuff. I mean, this setup that I have would also work on the PlayStation 2, but, uh, you know, I just gotta plug it in and that. I don't know if, if there's direct console options available for either platform for streaming. Uh, I'm not too sure about that. So we got the grass planks. Can we make the workbench? Okay, we can. Cool. So should I put it in my base of operations, or should I put it somewhere else? Let, let's see the, the map. I don't know if there's like a very big open area. Like, am I going to be able to move this later once I build it? That's kind of my question. You know, I, I don't want to build it somewhere and not have like room to build up like a fort and stuff. So, well, th this is a bit of a big area. We, we could do it here. See the rotation. Oh, pretty good base building stuff. So we'll put that down. And then uh, we just got to build it. And there we go. So now we got a workbench. So we'll just huck that down there. And now that we've got a workbench, uh, it's got the little pincher thing for the ants. That's great. Yeah. It is pretty cool, right? Yeah. I hope you guys are kind of enjoying this look at the game. It's kind of... It's pretty fun. Oh, look at this little thing. I want to kill it. Kind of awkward. It like flies up in the air. Oh, it's a ladybug. <gasps> look at it. Oh my god. It's so cool. I love ladybugs. They're so neat. Look at this thing. Oh, man. What are you doing, ladybug? Just, I, I kind of want to kill it, but... Oh! You can stand on the ladybug, and it takes you places. Oh, this is absolutely magnificent. Look at the grass kind of moves on it. Can I get a saddle for this thing? I want a saddle for my ladybug. Like... Oh, man. Okay, I, I should stop fooling around and then get back to... To building stuff, but... Yeah, I want to... I want a saddle. So we can build, if we kill ants, we can get like ant clothing. Get a torch. So is there gonna be like sleeping materials I'm gonna need? Stuffed mites. Okay, so we should probably get building on like, so that is using the workbench. I thought I'd get more uh, options for building stuff. Light a flame to illuminate your surroundings. Don't we need something for water though? Like I'm gonna get Thirsty. Yeah, I'm, I'm thirsty right now. So, where's a, a water pool? You know what I mean? Like, hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to wander around and hopefully not get too lost. Oh, there's a giant juice box. Can I drink from that? Oh, there's a mushroom. Mushrooms are good. Well, I mean, they kind of make you sick, some of them, but... Oh, there we go, water. Can I just drink it? Can't decide what's worse. The taste? Ew. Let's eat some shrooms, guys. Backyard shrooms. They didn't fill my hunger bar much. Yeah.
Just eating some shrooms, no big deal here. Just some psychedelic trips. I'm sorry, I'm just having a lot of fun with this. I think we should try some of the base building, though. Because we're... where is the map at? So we do have a pool of water back there. We should also work on trying to get the little sling thing so that we can put water in, like, a little bag in order to use it. I like how quick this is to learn with. Oh, we're right here. Yeah, of course, that's just something that was already there. Is there just a drop button, too? Because I kind of, like, it's weird to throw stuff, but... Get some of that grass. And we can do some psychedelic mushrooms. It's all cool. It's all cool and grounded. This is also on PC if you're, uh, you know, on that platform, too, right? You can jump in and have a good time with that. Uh, craft. I just want to... Is there, like, a floor? Triangle wall, a door, a wall. Okay, let's... Let's see what the walls kind of look like. This is the wall, so you probably want to defend this area. Put this up against, uh, you know, kind of right there. Oh, what, what is that? I just hit like a bug. Mm, yeah, that looks... Did you... Are they attacking me? I, I can't tell if they're attacking me or not. They are harassing me, though. Okay. Yeah, that looks like a good spot. Good. Let's build it. Nice! We've got a little bit of a, a grass wall. We can recycle it too if we want to break it down and everything like that. This is a cool little game. Look at the little thing running around there. But we do need to kill more ants though, because I want to get some like ant armor going on, if you know what I mean. Like, get all anted up. There we go. I hope we don't have an inventory uh, kind of store like issue. Oh, we gotta break down. So we got one, two. Oh, hello there, Ant. Thanks for your parts. So we do obviously need more food. Our health isn't the best either. How many brass pieces do we get? One, two, three. That's not enough. We need four for... Uh, what we want to build here. I was hoping that my food would go up more, so I don't know if I'm going to have to kill lots of bugs to kind of get with that going, or what's going to be the situation there. We also want a door. We need a wood stem, and we need woven fibers. Okay, where do we get a wood stem from? Bell dandelions and other growths. Okay. So we'll build a few more of these, because you never know when you need them. And we should also make... need pebbles. Can we make a spear for stabbing? Hmm. Arrows. Alright, okay, but we'll put up another uh, fence here, just to kind of get it going. You know, it's probably going to take a little bit to actually build up a house area here. Oh, good snap feature. Yeah, okay. Good, so we got a bit of a wall going, and we got some extra pieces. Yeah, this, that looks pretty good. I'm, I'm fairly happy with this setup here. I, I think this is kind of a good wall build. Like, I want to build, like, a house structure, right? So it's going to take some time. But obviously, I need to uh, get out and do some stuff, too. Oh, wow, that's interesting. So you can get water up in the air. So that would be cleaner water than, like, water on the ground. And you can actually jump up on the different uh, stem areas, it seems, in order to reach higher places. Hmm. I'm actually kind of impressed by this. Craft bandages. Okay, I'm going to have to look into that, too. And put the wall down there. And then build the wall. This is a mighty wall. It's going to keep out the the Americans. Oh, it just traps the bug. Sorry, bug. Thanks for your guts, though. I'm gonna eat that guy's uh, guts. Yeah. The creature. The gnat stuff. Nom 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 nom. Find some place to crash and catch some Z's. Well, I don't really have uh, the the bed option, do I? A lean to. We need clover leaves. Am I hurt? What am I? Am I bleeding out or something? Yeah, my 
health bar is kind of going down. A fiber bandage, so we need more sap. Am I getting hit by something? Is it because I killed its friend? Thanks for your food, man. Which is you, your snack. Thank you. Okay, so we gotta find more sap, and we need the dandelion thingies, because I want to be able to build, uh, you know, a, a, like a door, right? So what do the clovers become? They give me a clover leaves. I think that's going to allow me to build a, a lean place now, so somewhere I can sleep when it's getting dark out. For Spongebob? Oh man, I really like that Spongebob game. It was just like the uh, the original back in the day, but it looks so lovely. I don't know why people were disliking it. I, I really don't understand that. I, I thought it was quite a lovely uh, sort of thing. Oh, a trail marker? Oh, cool. Storage basket. That's helpful. Oh, we need more clover leaves. Okay, I, I thought I had enough because it, it does look like it's getting dark out here. Okay, so the laser is being blocked from up there, so I have to get up into that thing to do that. Okay. Sorry, there's just, like, there's so much going on in this right now that I'm kind of, like, I'm not overwhelmed, but I'm excitedly, like, diving into the action because this is actually, like, quite a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, can't wait to uh, do some more video things to follow the stream, too. Probably, like, a like a tips and tricks, and I'll, I'll get a review out, too, later on. But we're, we're going to keep streaming because I'm actually quite enjoying this. I guess we could put this against the wall here. I don't know, does it seem like a lame place to build it? Like, are we going to get a better bed option later? So we can use this to save. Set a spawn point. Alright, so we sleep during certain times. So that's great. But yeah, no, generally I'm, I'm quite good. It's been a pretty good month and stuff for me in that. Uh, I mean, it's not May, but my website's doing extremely well this month. It's like uh, over 30% higher than it's ever been. So that's like fantastic. I don't even know where it's getting stuff from. Uh, so that's great. Uh, the YouTube's been doing pretty well. I had a good thing on the uh, with the shoes I have, the Xbox shoes I was sent. So on the, uh, the Xbox subreddit, a lot of people seem kind of interested in that because I was kind of a little hesitant on sharing there, but people seem to be interested. Uh, yeah, I'm doing... Pretty well, you know, all things considering how things are going on in the world, I can't really complain, I guess. How do I get this dandelion? Do I gotta be higher for it, or do I get it from this spot? Yeah, guinea pigs are going nuts over the dandelion. I don't know, it doesn't really let me have the option to flip the dandelion. There we go, this one does. I got an axe, though. A little awkward. I want to get the dandelion, but there's like this stupid big leaf in the way. Hmm. Anyways, I think we need to get some more sap, though, so that I can improve uh, stuff. Are we doing water? Still good. We do need food also. I'm not really seeing uh, mushrooms. Oh, there we go. Just a little bit easy food. We could kill one of the little monsters, and then we'll give you some, too. Oh! Oh, wow, yeah, nope, 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 nope. Uh, where is home? I think I'm, did I get killed? Whoa, oops, was killed. Jeez, giant spider, I was not expecting that. Excited for Halo Infinite? I'm excited for Halo Infinite. Seriously, guys, just, just wait for the full release. I think, you know, I'm assuming I'm going to review it ahead of time. I'll, I'll show you what it actually looks like and everything, and I think you will be, you know, pleasantly surprised by what they're doing with that one. I think it's going to uh, definitely deliver, and I, I think you just got to give it time to see the full release of it. Ant, I need your parts and that sap you have. Thank you. I'm gonna watch out for the giant... Uh, spider off in the distance. So what did we even get here? Like, I, I gotta see what I have, like, item-wise. Because I'm trying to make... I've got a bed. I want to make a storage... Okay, I got enough for a storage basket. Might want to make that so we get a little bit of fire going on here. That might allow us to cook some stuff, too. But I did really want to get a door, so I need a wood stem. Grass planks are easy, but... Yeah, okay. 
It's getting a little bit darker. We'll, we'll collect some of the dry grass. Because that's how we get the uh, the fire thingy going. Can there be pieces of uh, dry grass around here? Or is that not coming from that stuff? And we need some mushrooms. We gotta get some shrooms because our food's going down a little bit. Oh, there's a beetle thingy. Yeah. Oh, it's the weevil. My bad. Which I think is a play on beetle. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Grass. Let's grab some sprigs. Sap is always good. I've noticed that. Sap seems to be very important to what we're doing. I'll grab some sap. So we do want dry leaves. Obviously more of that. Hmm. I think what else is present here? Does that that's a dry leaf over here, right? But it, regardless, I think we're gonna be able to build our uh is that what we, like don't we need dry leaf planks, right? Like uh, looks like it's getting dark out. Let's head back to the home base here. Which I, is around this area. I wish I could put something on the map. Maybe I can get like a marker going on. That would be nice. Yeah, because our base is right here. But let's just build because the trail marker transmits visible. That could be very helpful. But let's build the roasting thingy, right? Yeah, this is going to be good. We'll put that because I'm going to build. I wish you could do floors. I'm surprised you can't do floors on here. We'll put this right here for now. And we'll build that. I think that's going to give us a little bit of a fire. And now we can actually cook the raw meat, right? Well, the raw animal meat. Great. So uh, now we can sleep? No. Oh, we're, we're almost there. We're almost sleeping time. Ah, we cooked some food. Nice. I'm really just having a great time with this, honestly. It's, it's a lot of fun to play this. Okay, let's see. Utilities. Uh, we get a storage basket we'll put right beside our machine. That way we can like keep supplies here that we need. We don't want our inventory getting too full. And the trail marker, because that's going to be like the marker for our house. Should we put a door right here kind of going out? Maybe a good spot. We'll make this uh, home. And we'll put a red marker down. There we go. So that should show up on the map. No? Shouldn't it? Or is that just like a marker in-game? I guess it's just like a forever in-game marker. Okay. Now we can sleep and get ready for the I'm next day. It is actually a pretty looking game. Yeah, I think obviously for the Halo Infinite, you know, we're getting an open world Halo game, 4K, 60 FPS, local split screen, four player co-op. Uh, you know, that would have been the build that I would have saw at E3. So I would really just give it time for them to, uh, you know, polish things and improve the look of the game before launch. You gotta remember there's a ton of people working on this game. Just give it time and wait till you see the final version of it. I mean, if it doesn't look better with the final version, you know it is what it is. But, you know, just give it the, uh, the benefit of the doubt on the build there. Okay, do we want armor glue? There we go. We'll build a couple of these. We usually need an extra allotment of them. Do I need more pebble hammer? I don't know if I need lots of rocks, right? I don't know. I'm just trying to think of, like, there's a lot of stuff I can do right now. I'm trying to think of, like, what I want to knock off first. So should I... I'm going to click some pebbles. I want to get my door going. That's a big part of this, is I want to get the door built. We need to collect some grass. I also need to watch out for the axe kind of breaking down. That's a pretty good indicator of where stuff is going to be. Can I just... Oh yeah, okay, there's unload. I've just been chucking it every time. So where do we get the wood? 
Dem. Felled dandelions and other stubborn growths. Hmm. So we might need some more rocks. Let's build the hammer. There we go. So now we can use that to smash uh, these rocks here and see what we get out of it. A lot of harder on the, the stamina, it looks like. And we are going to need some water and stuff. So that way we can get a lot of pebbles. So that's helpful, obviously. Hmm. Good, good, good. Great, so let's, uh, let's look for some water and stuff. Because we're, we're going to need that, we're going to need... Well, we got food. So... Eat mushrooms. Nom nom nom. I think you like whatever platform, it doesn't really matter. Is the game crashing? Uh, no, I haven't had any crashes uh, yet. I am on Xbox One X though for context, so I, I don't know, I can't speak for the lower end uh, console, but it seems to be pretty good. Uh, obviously, I have noticed some performance uh, dips here or there, but it is a game preview title, so. That's kind of expected for this kind of thing. I'm sure they're gonna fix it up. How do I get the the special wooden stuff? Like, am I doing? Am I hitting the dry thing wrong? Like, you, you knock the dry grass down, or did I already get that? I already got the dry grass. What am I thinking? I'm getting mixed up about stuff. So I'm trying to get uh, a weed stem. And I'm trying to drink too because I'm thirsty. I should make, like I was saying, one of those little packs that allow me to, uh, you know, uh, basically hold on to water. That's not refreshing. Ew, bad water. Now I'm all like in some kind of weird trippy situation due to drinking some. Oh, jeez! <laughs> oh, oh, okay, yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, so what what they do and it's probably not the best way to see the game so you gotta think of this from an e3 standpoint uh is that's when they would have shown that build off behind closed doors and it would look really good for a build at e3 so what they do is they show at these shows um an older build of these games because that's the most stable build so they have very likely or not I know they do a much more polished newer version of the game but they want the most stable kind of build and they show in a little bit of an older build off that way when you see the full version of the game you're even more wowed but seriously just give a little bit of time and um, it doesn't do justice to the game obviously having an older version like that shown to the public it's also why I don't think you'll see gameplay trailers ever again at an Xbox event because of that and because of the backlash so uh yeah i mean in the future again well, well it'll just be cgi trailers because of the reactions but, eh, that's just how it goes crashes at the screen oh that sucks uh there's no achievements because this is game preview and we're not close to the launch so you usually get achievements just before the launch happens wood stem dandelions okay where are dandelions i should get like Find somewhere where I'm a little bit more elevated so I can kind of, you know, see over top of things and know where stuff is. I just hope I don't run into spiders again. Oh, there we go. These things. That's a clover? I thought this was a daddy line. Oh, that was a little glitchy. So those are clover leaves. Didn't the white thing drop down? I thought that was a daddy line leaf, no? Is that just what the clovers become? Where are the dandelions at? I need dandelions. I guess this is also a good time to kind of explore a little bit. Let's see what's over here. This looks to be the edge of the the map area. Oh, <gasps> it's our ladybug pal. Ah, uh, how you doing, ladybug? He he seemed kind of mad. What's wrong? Why is he so angry looking? He abandoned anthill. Oh, that looks kind of gnarly. 
I like how they have the blur effect too, so you see the background stuff. It's kind of interesting. Huh. Okay, so we got clovers. We could go down into the anthill, but it's probably a little bit scary in there. Yeah, we need a we need a torch for that. So we're not gonna go back there just yet. We make a maybe we should make a marker. A marker. Uh ant. We'll make it blue. That way we know it's an ant area, we can come back to this. Is this the dandelion? I think it's glitched, isn't it? Maybe it's just the leaf you can't hit. Oh, these dandelions are tough as nails. Uh, they don't know, so when the game previews uh, games release, they don't typically have a end date. It's just kind of when it's ready, it's ready. I've noticed that most of them take between, uh, you know, anywhere from 4 to 12 months. I have seen one or two games never make it out of preview. This one will, though, because it's first party, it has to. But for the most part, uh, compared to, like, Steam Early Access, the Xbox game preview has been uh, very successful in having games actually launch and coming out of it with a good state uh, of quality, at least in my opinion. So... You won't know yet, but, you, you know, it's definitely um, something that will, you know, come out of release eventually in the future. Um, maybe they're waiting for the Series X. They'll do it around there because it does have Obsidian working on it. But keep in mind, this is like a side Obsidian uh, project. Oh, scaffolding. That would have been helpful. Hmm. So I need one, one stem and three of these. Right on, we've got ourselves a windowed wall. We've got ourselves a door right here. There we go. Can it be up higher? A little high, okay. There we go. We got a door now. Can we move this? I don't know, you'd have to recycle it. There's our door. We've got a... The house is kind of coming together, I guess. It's kind of a cool looking game. I think so, you know, visually it's kind of nice. Yeah, so we're gonna move this thing out of the way. Jeez. Uh, just, well, we're gonna turn it into walls, but we also just want to make the door area a little bit cleaner. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Oh, hello there, little ant. I'll kill you in a second. Give me a sec. Just gotta put in a door. I kind of want a windowed wall. It looks nice, but not right next to the door. Oh, it, it can't because there's the things blocking that? I'm gonna have to move that out of the way. There we go. Uh, it looks like the ant wants to die. Oh, sorry, I've got the, uh, I gotta offload this stuff. Ant, come back! I want to turn you into some armor! Where'd it- oh, it's all the way over there already. <gasps> the ladybug's back! Oh my god, yeah! Ladybug! I love how it just, like, it's just this tank that's, that's moving through here, you know? Doing its thing. This ladybug looks like it has red eyes, it's all angry and stuff. What are my uh, opinions on the game? I don't know, I kind of like it. I think it's really- wow, did I die? I got killed by a ladybug. Huh. I did not see that coming. I guess it was a little bit hostile. I don't know. It's kind of fun. I'm having a really good time with it. It's a good survival game. It's got some, uh, I guess you could say, uh, simpler mechanics. It's kind of, it's got some scary stuff to it. But I think this is maybe a survival game that's for everyone, if that makes sense. So that any age could jump in here and it wouldn't be too scary. The material wouldn't be too dark, but it's kind of got some... You know some darker aspects to it but yeah it's kind of a lot of fun having a really good time with it the i mean we can make a lot of these 
Can make a backup pebble axe? Yeah, probably, might as well. Maybe a torch. I don't know if I want to waste that yet. We get our ant parts might fuzz. I don't know if I should build armor yet. Ant arm guards. I need acid glass. Armor glue. So I want to make this. So we need grubs. That way we can, like, pack up some water. Should I make some bandages? So I just love how the art is, like, the mites and stuff like that are a little bit funny. We can cook food, we got trail markers. I'm just trying to think of like what I want to tackle next goal wise. I do sort of want to, you know, work on my house more. That's my big thing. I like how you can stack the axes too, that's very helpful in my opinion. Mm. What about physical gaming? I don't know. I'm kind of more of a digital. I don't really find the value in physical gaming as much these days, but I know a lot of people that like doing it, so that's cool. We gotta move this one, I think, was in the way. I think Netflix has kind of really uh, changed the, you know, the streaming and the video and delivery systems forever, which is kind of interesting. Great, so we can offload this stuff. Well, we can actually build a wall here, I think. I just want to move these stems out of the way. Great. I wish I had some more options for, like, building stuff. Like, I know I gotta discover new things to use to be able to build with, but I wish I kind of had them so that I could be, like, looking and be like, okay, I want to make this because I need, and I need to find this. That would be helpful. But the discovery aspect is kind of cool, too. There we go. I don't know, like, how big am I making this house? Maybe we should, we'll do... One more wall there, and then I'm gonna do like this. I guess you can outline it, right? And you kind of build this way. Okay, so you can actually partially put up stuff too. That's cool. So I'm just kind of like debating how large I want to make this house area. Because this kind of gets in the way also, doesn't it? Hmm. I feel like I'm overbuilding this, so I'm, I'm gonna cut in this way here. Maybe put another door in this way so that you can see in that way and then kind of close it this way. Sorry, I'm just doing all this base building. It is like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, you know? It's very much leaning on that. Some other people have mentioned some crashing problems, but yeah. Well, I mean, if you're on PlayStation 4, you can just, you know, you can play it on PC. It's available on there. You know, if you, I guess if you have a PC available to you, some people might not, but yeah. Kind of nice. Yeah, that's the thing, you know, sometimes you get exclusives on either platform, and this is just one of those exclusives. What is that? The... Did I put in a second store there? I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, I got two doors now. That's a bit awkward. Okay, let's do the... Let's actually lay this out and set this up so I know what I'm building. So we're going to do... Well, obviously, now we have to do one more over. Actually, can we do this like an angle? Yeah, like that. And then kind of keep on angling it a little bit. That way we can... And, uh, yeah, we can come in like this again, and then we can round in. Okay, that's cool. Let's build that, but then I think we need to do a a door here, right? Like, that, that would be a good spot for a door would be attached to this spot. Why can't I put a door there? And the door's got to be, like, five feet up in the air? Ridiculous. Oh, what if we, can we put the door in between something that already exists? Hmm. Okay, well, I need a, a spot for this door. Come on, work with me here. So we gotta push it to the outside here? Why am I having so much door problems? There we go, we got the door down. Okay, that's fine. Then we'll just wrap this back in. Or is the leaf gonna be like an awkward thing? Making this like super awkward looking for it. 
I, I'd like to angle this inwards if possible. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, we can build up maybe against this wall or something. This is becoming a little bit more awkward than I thought it would be, but okay, yeah, that kind of works. I mean, it's gonna be a weird fort, guys, but it's gonna keep stuff out, I think, right? Like, kinda. Mm, uh, I think I have it set to single player, but if you want to jump in, you go ahead. I guess I don't really know how that's handled. Let's see. Options give up. Saving intervals. Five minutes. Auto save. Three minutes. In case you die, the Rachniff will be a safe setting. I don't really see the option to open it up. I think you gotta actually start it as like a multiplayer game or something. Hopefully creatures can't, like, jump in over here, otherwise this was a very poorly set up, uh, base design. Don't worry, it's a, it's a work in progress. We got this. I like how you can partially build things, though. I think that's a nice touch. We should move this grass out here so that it doesn't cause a confliction. I hope it's alright that I've gotten completely into the base building. I'm really into that in games, uh, building bases and stuff. <laughs> sort of my jam. I, I quite like it. Usually I do like farming and stuff too in games. Okay, well, we just gotta get more of the grass. We can keep putting up these walls. We gotta keep my little area a little bit safe, right? You know, have all these big things and stuff like that. Disney Plus has high quality content. Uh... Yeah, I mean, like, it's not really for me, Disney Plus. Like, I own it for the year because I accidentally let it renew. And I just was like, eh, you know what, I'll just stick with it and see what it's like. Uh, there's not enough new content for me because I do a lot of, you know, like, I review stuff written-wise. So, uh, yeah, not thrilled by the new stuff on Disney Plus. It's obviously got, like, a lot of classics and a lot of good movies and high-quality video and... You know a good setup in regards to the streaming and everything like that but yeah i don't know if it's going to be quite something i stick with you know we'll have to wait and see right you know a lot of stuff got delayed though i don't think they were expecting to see delayed it's just a weird situation these days life is so keep rolling with that and now we got all these room like all, all, well all these room all this room for like fun and activities right you know you do all this Building, I'm almost on my fence. It's, it's gonna be a pretty cool fence and stuff. I mean, I don't think I'm trying to play solo, but I just think I have it set up like that right now. Actually, I wanted, I wonder if I could turn this into an online world. Again, this, this is like my first time like diving into it, so I'm still uh, learning all the ropes, but I think I've got like a pretty decent little area going. Um, I, I don't know, like what people think about my little base, but I kind of, I don't know if it's clever, but sort of well set up. You know, like functionally to the landscape. I wish there were more like floor options so I could make something a bit more, I suppose, symmetrical in design, you know? Be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, but you know, it kind of is what it is here. And then maybe we can start discovering some of the mystery of the base. I should mention, though, since we have been playing for quite a while and I haven't said anything, uh, be sure to like the stream. Uh, if you do have any questions and stuff during or after, let me know, and I hope you're having, you know, a good time watching this giant uh, build happen and everything like that, and this larger-than-life experience. And we do have cool uh, premium channel options to support what I do, but, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoy more of the grounded experience and all the building in that. And we do need to start getting some more water and stuff because I have not been paying attention to that. So I hope maybe I'm kind of worried if bugs can sneak in on the outside of this. I mean, it's an all right base, right? Like it's decent. Take a look at it from like a distance here. I would like it to go all the way around, but 
that's not going to happen, I don't think, with this setup. What a lovely environment. I love that they kind of blur things out. I think I've said that, but it's really neat. Hmm, could use that as like an extra little sneaky area. Ooh. Alpha honeydew. Slurp. It's not good for you, but... I need some calories. That's true. Eating some shrooms out in the wilderness grounded. Nom 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 nom. Bad mushroom. Great. Does I mean there's obviously a penalty for just drinking water off the ground and not finding it on a leaf or something. Oh good, I need to kill more of you things. No, oh, come back here. Back, back, back. Where'd it go? Grass. Spring, okay. I need to kill bugs and stuff. Can we just explore a bit? Like, I mean, we got our base, like, set up a little bit, so... I don't know. Might be worth taking a little trip around. So this is gonna keep giving me sap, it looks like, so that regenerates. I wonder how much of the environment is, like, you know, kind of forever here, or how much it goes away. This would have been a good spot to build. It's a very open area. Hmm. Let's see. I'm just, like, debating on what my next move is. Maybe making some lovely art. So I want to make this. So we need grubs. Where are we going to find grubs at? Maybe some, like, ant gear. Hmm. Double spear. Let's craft a few of these, because they might help. And I'll be able to have three people join? I don't know, like, can people damage things in this game? I, I would be worried about having people jump in and, like, damaging things, but it could be fun, too. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll switch over to a multiplayer game, and then people can join in. But I'm gonna get back to the house. I think I'll finish the day off first, and then I'll do that. Yeah. I do want to try to find some rubs. You know what I mean? Like, or are we close to the end of the day? Ooh. Oh, that's the big thingy. Where we get up there? You gotta climb the outside of it, kinda? Oh, dandelion! Yeah, okay. So you don't use this often, but it should be good to kinda stack up on, you know, this dandelion material, right? Keeping in mind that on the left-hand side that you might not be able to see, there is, like, a stamina meter. But I can only do so much, like, hitting his stuff. Ooh, yeah. Oh, just picked up a glider. Oh man, that's kind of cool. Now right, let's let's bring this back to base. Bring it back, to stems. Yeah. So we gotta. I, I think my fort's kind of nice. I don't know. You guys have any like thoughts on like making it look nicer? I guess more functional. And they destroy it. The bugs and that. I don't know. Do you have anything to cook? Mm, nope. Oh man. Some of that stuff spoiled. We got that there. What do I do with spoiled stuff? Do I like throw it out or something? Isn't there like a drop option? Oh, there we go. Crash one, yeah. Should have noticed that and cooked it or something. So I guess food can go bad. I didn't know that. So we sleep. Um, are the ants attacking? <laughs> okay. I think it might be time to pull out the, uh... The old spear. I, I can't tell if they're breaking it down. Uh, okay. They look pissed. Oh, you get your ass back here. Thank you for your parts. Well, ha ha ha. 
That, that kind of hurt me a lot there. Oh, they're inside? How did they get inside? Get away from my basket! How did you get in here? I don't got much health. My stamina's kind of low. Ah, damn it. They're wrecking my home. How did they get in here? I think they slid through the top. Oh, I need my spear back. I guess I can put it in the hot pocket or have a hot pouch. Oh, they're breaking stuff. Stop breaking my house, ants. Stop it. Mean ants, did they wreck stuff? Ow! This is what you get for not building. Oh, they can climb up here. That's not good. So my home is functionally kind of useless. Okay, well, we're gonna have to work on that in the morning, but we can set this up into a multiplayer thing, though. In about five in game minutes, whatever that is. Hmm. Is this game worth it? I don't know. It's kind of fun. I'm having a good time with it. We do need to figure out a solution to uh, the ants getting it. We might have to make the wall go around that way, though. Feeling a little low energy. There we go. Oh. We're going to save. Yeah. Great, so we made a save, and then we're gonna quit, and we're gonna make a, a multiplayer session, I guess, to see if people wanna jump in and that. Yeah, that kind of works out. We haven't tested multiplayer yet, so this should be kind of interesting to do. Host an online game, continue. Creating lobby. Let's see if we got any friends playing grounded. Really? Nobody jumped in on this? He's hiding offline. Oh, I gotta set this up. Yeah, I, I would like character customization, though. I think that'd be a nice touch in this game, at least in my opinion. But since we are between breaks, uh, be sure to like the stream so more people can check it out. If you do have any questions and stuff, let me know. And I hope you enjoy the uh, action of the game and all that. And, yeah, let's be grounded. Honey, I shrunk the kids. What? Oh no. Loading. Kind of taking a while to load here. As a multiplayer game. Oh, there we go. Now we're back into the action. So I guess people can join in. I'm going to invite my friend that I think is hiding off offline. I don't know. Oh, I can invite to a game that way? How do I invite people to a game? Player list, uh, game invites, and session settings. Oh, so people have to manually join, I guess? They don't have in-game invites. Huh. Okay. Guess that is what it is. Let's get crafting. I guess if people want to join, you gotta manually do it. Sorry, folks. Uh, but it is available now. Base building. Walls. Okay. So we gotta build the wall on the inside. And try to save as much space as possible. Because we don't want the ants getting in. Nobody wants ants. So is that going to wreck my door? No, okay. Can we make this kind of work, or...? Not really, well... Are the ants going to be able to 
get in there? Like, slide under or something? That's my wonder, right? Of like, are the ants gonna get in? Maybe we could delete that. And we'll make a door like or something. I don't know. Maybe we just don't need a door there. I like how you can recycle everything though. There we go. Good, good, good. What was that? What, what, what pushed me there? A little, little bug. Okay, let's re-envision our area here. Okay. I'm losing a lot of real estate on this one. But it's better than having ants get in. Nobody likes ants. Is that Nat drunk or something? It's coming right at me. What's coming at you? I don't know. We gotta we were just redoing the base thing here though. What would I compare this game to? Um, it's very much your typical open world survival game. Uh, I get a lot of, again, you know, like the old movie, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. I'm getting a lot of those vibes from it. Uh, obviously a little bit different. It's kind of unique though, because it's got a, a, a narrative driven element to it. What is shaking the ground here? Oh, nothing. Uh, if you know what I mean, so it's kind of a, a bit of a unique game because it is so different. I don't know, it's hard to make a comparison for this one because, you know, it, it is uh, sort of an actually unique experience. I, I think that's kind of cool. I mean, it, it plays like the other survival games I've played before, but they've definitely done some unique things with it. I, I don't think that made it over there. Definitely hit my wall there. Uh, yeah, it, it's hard to compare. Just think of the survival games, you know, like the hunger, food systems, and kind of throw it into the idea that you're in a, a larger than life environment trying to survive while also figuring out, you know, why are you here? What happened? It's got that kind of trademark uh, obsidian style of play. If you're not familiar with obsidian, they do very narrative driven like rpg experiences so it kind of plays on that aspect a bit i need water i also need mushrooms i guess would be good mm, can't waste food. no we can't waste food it's more sap here sorry my, my water bar is not looking great so like even i'll take a puddle of water on the ground or something Hmm. Getting up pretty high here. Where'd the other guy go? No, he's out there doing his thing. Yeah, okay. I guess I could... Did I kill a bug? I think I could cook with it. We're gonna drink some bad water and stuff like that. Oh, I'm sorry. I said it was unique so many times. I'm just trying to like create a comparison idea of what it's like because it's so different. Um, but, yeah. Where's this gnat? Where are you? Where is it? Where'd it go? I don't know if I killed it or not. So my food bar is not looking great. I didn't have any issues starting the game or anything like that. Yes, it's cross-play, so PC players can jump in two. There we go. Great. Uh, let's go cook this before I die of hunger. Although death doesn't seem to be a, a big deal in this one. I've got my respawn point, so it's not a huge issue. Oh, they left the game. That was totally worth loading it up and having people join in for somebody to leave right away. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, so we're cooking our food on the barbecue. I like how accessible it is. Like, this, this seems like something you could have, like, a kid jump in and play. And I don't think they would have, like, uh, you know, necessarily, like, a huge issue enjoying the game. 
but they'd also maybe be freaked out. Like the spiders were pretty, uh, they were they were pretty chilly, you know, pretty chilly and scary. Uh, there's these big, huge spiders chasing you, and they like annihilate you. That was pretty cool, I thought. Uh, it's just kind of nice to jump in here, share this game, play it a bit. Again, I'll, I'll have some more like precise videos of it probably later on too. You know, showing things off and but it's just kind of a, a good way to do a stream, just to kind of share what the game's like and get an idea of it. If I have my slots are almost filled here. I'm gonna have to throw my bug parts inside my, uh, my crate there. I just want to get my wall finished before nighttime because the ants seem to be all freaky. I assume that's part of the story or something. The ants are all causing or having issues. I think I should maybe put a door here. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I think this would be a good spot for a door. Because there is an actual story here. I just don't really know what it is. Kind of nice to come in a little bit surprised. Are we going to have issues if we put it there or something? Okay. Hope this kind of works. Hmm. We can have like an awkward door here or something. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to figure out how to get this door going. That looks good, right? Yeah. I think that looks pretty good. Now I just need some grass planks. Guess we could recycle this door, and then we could uh, fill in these walls. Yeah, I, I think this is shaping up nicely. I'm gonna remove these things. Get some more plant fibers out of that. I liked how easy it was to pick up, though. I've, I've been playing it for, I, I don't know, a couple hours here. I think. No, only over just over an hour, and I already have, like, a pretty good uh, grasp of what you're doing here. So I think that's kind of cool. Hello. My base looks kind of awkward now. I, I liked it before, but, you know, obviously it wasn't working, so... Had to adjust it a little bit. Let's grab these planks. That's just gonna be a bit of work getting this all patched up. There we go. Yeah, it is kind of neat that it does have that passive multiplayer though, where people can just like jump in and stuff. I hope they uh, get the the multiplayer invites and in that working in the future though. You know what I mean? Just so we can actually get other people involved more easily. It's easier to coordinate stuff if you can actually invite others to jump into the match. The last air. Uh, I think it was just like a badly done movie, wasn't it? You know, that's kind of why it flopped and stuff, and people didn't like the reviews and that. I, guess, I don't know. Oh, this person's helping me. That's very nice. Get this grass out of here. Hello, ant. Did I kill it? I don't know. He's just gonna be chilling there. Hmm. Where if I should kill that bug that was right here? Where'd it go? Do you know where the bug went? No, it's just a big spider. Oh, this person's helping me out. That's whoa, ladybug's back. Good thing it's not the red-eyed ladybug. It was kind of heartbreaking to be launched off by the ladybug. Hopefully, this one doesn't do that. You can ride them around and stuff. I don't know if they mind or not, but it's, it's kind of funny just to be like taken away on a ride on a ladybug. Eh, they're kind of adorable. This guy is like really helpful, actually. It's Helping me build up my walls. That's, that's really great, man. Whoever this is, I'm very, very happy that they came in here to assist. And I think we're basically done with the wall construction then. That one extra thing. That movie's slightly out of the way here, though. Good, so we got that set up. 
cook. Do we have anything to cook with? No. Okay, I'm going to put my bug parts in the storage container. Is there like a quick... There's no quick thingy? They need a quick thingy where you can quickly throw it into the bin. Don't think I really need those for now. Sap, sap building. Okay, let's see what we can build. Armor glue. So I want to find grub hide. I haven't seen any grubs anywhere. You know what I mean? Like, hmm. I built some of that. Utilities, lean to workbench. I'm not sure what the scaffolding would do. Is that just to get higher? Like, like I know what scaffolding's for, but I'm not sure what it would help with in the. And I, again, I want to say I love the vice here. That is the coolest thing. Like, this, like, ant. I think it's an ant. Like, mouth vice and stuff. Yeah. What's this guy doing? Is he, like, building a bridge or something? I don't know. I kind of want to explore, though, a little bit. So we got the ant hill over there. I might take a look in the ant area and see what that's like. I do have my fire, right? I got my torch. Oh, I thought I made a torch, didn't I? I'm gonna make another one. Great. Let's go, uh, let's take a look at the giant weird ant hill of death. Did we leave my inventory? Uh, whatever, we'll take a look. Well, let's see what this is like, you know. That's what it's all about, the exploration. Well, I mean, we, we've been here, we know where it is, we just haven't looked on the inside yet. Hopefully the other guy does whatever he's doing, I don't know. There's the ladybug. Is it eating? I tell if it's eating. Oh, it's pissed. Oh. I'm gonna grab whatever that was. Thank you for the meat there. Oh, that's an aphid. Cool. Alright, let's, uh... Take a look. I like that you can put it in one hand there. See what we're dealing with down here. Is there anything cool? Something bad gonna happen down here? Why do you need a torch down here? Like, you be pretty easily. Are they gonna be mad that I'm down here? Like, what's it doing? Bigger ant. It's not happy. It's not happy I'm down here. The ant is not happy. It is coming. Oh, jeez. The ant is not having a good time. This was a bad idea. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. The ants are here. Oh, jeez. Yep. Okay. We are running. We are getting out of here. We were ill prepared for an ant battle. We are leaving the ant home. This is not a good idea. The ants are angry. We have pissed off the ants in their home. I think they are still chasing me. Oh, okay. We're good, we're good. Uh, I need to rethink that strategy. I, I don't know, man. You're, you're really into Airbender, and I, I don't really know that much about it. I just always hear people make fun of the movie and the travesty that it was and their lives and that. Kind of crazy. Okay, so that's... That was exciting. Uh, we're going to put the the torch away. We're gonna keep looking around and see what else there is there, because the ants, they they scared me. It was a little unsettling, to be honest. See the water. I bet they could do a Series X optimization and throw in some ray tracing here. So those are spiders. Don't want to deal with, because they're scary. So this is the edge of the map, right? Like, Oh, I found a new installation. Can I get in here? Yeah, I can, okay. Oh! Jeez! Help me out! Holy! That scared me. So can I fast travel there? No? So that's part of the map too, okay. So now I gotta... Try to get my stuff back. Oh, that's gonna suck. 
All right, let's see what I can find. I don't know what this guy's doing over here, but I'm sure he's doing something, so... Yeah, I don't know. Huh. This is a really kind of cool game. Hopefully I can get my things and the spider won't kill me. But you know how spiders are. Oh, hello there, little ant. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh! Oh! No, 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 no! Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, no, don't get stuck up there. Oh, this is not gonna go well. Uh. Okay, now we gotta run back home without getting killed by the giant scary spiders. As this is obviously their domain, and I was not prepared for the giant scary spiders of death. Get me out of here. Oh, there's water. I kinda need that. Crap. It's, it's up there, okay. We're getting back to base. Whew! That was terrifying. I don't know how people were not excited or hyped up about the intensity of all these creatures and everything like that running around. That was kind of crazy. Alright, let, let's get back to base and l let's see the status of things. Because that was, I don't know, kind of terrifying. At least I think so. Okay, so you analyze things and then you're able to build new things. Is, is that the gist of the analyzation? Okay. That guy really does seem to know what he's doing. That's kind of exciting. Hmm. Crazy. Let's see what we got going on here. I think we got all these doors. Okay, let's see what new stuff we have to build now that he's done this. Oh, wow. A sturdy door. Stem wall. That's kind of nice. <laughs> it's made of the stems. I get that. That's cool. You little annoying little thing. That flies in just to bother me. Cooking some aphid tonight. We're eating well. Snacks, canteen. Spiky sprig? Wow. Thistle needles. True. Plant lamp. A skull and a wall mounted torch. See how this looks. Oh, we got a torch now. Cool. Is my aphid ready? I think my aphid's ready. Nom 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 on the aphid. I want to eat it. That fills me up good. Hmm. So I guess I should go analyze stuff. Field station. Okay, so I gotta go to the left over there. You know, assuming I have something new to analyze that they haven't analyzed for me already. Of course. It's the ants. Giant scary ants. Alert threat analyzed, that's great. Log pallet, blank pallet. We're out of charges? Oh, we gotta wait a little bit for them to show up. Those ants look a little hostile. It's a bit unsettling. Well, I mean, the... Series X and the PS5 will be able to do like a native 4K in some games, or they'll be able to do ray tracing. There's a there's a lot you're gonna get out of next generation consoles. Cause I mean this does 4K, but uh, it, it's gonna be quite a difference. I I'm pretty sure for a lot of the games having all that extra power there. <gasps> ah.
Soldier ants are scary. I'm gonna die. I'm so dead. Curse you, soldier ants. Why were they over there? Another question I wonder. It keeps asking me to change the teens, but... Can I get, like, a different teen that's, like, more... You know, deadly or something? Like... Wait, is this the right way to go? Yeah, it is. Okay. Big ladybug! I love the big ladybugs. They're so great. Uh, but... Yeah, seriously, you should be excited, though, because you're going to see big advancements in the gaming technology that's present. It's going to make a, a big deal. Oh, jeez. No! Leave me alone, ants! That's not good. Why are the ants so mean? Back to base. This guy's just, like, doing his thing over there. It's kind of crazy. I don't know what he's building, but he's building cool stuff. He's creating things. The water area there, cool, cool. Maybe we can go all stealth like. Threat engage. Okay. I shouldn't have tried to annoy the ants. That's on me. I mean, I didn't annoy them, I was just kind of in the vicinity. I want to analyze my stuff. Why are they camping our base? I don't think they can get me up here. Yeah. Who's got the superior minds now, Ants? You ain't got nothing on this spot. That's what I thought. Are they just chilling? What are you guys, what are you Ants doing? I think it's angry, but I can't be certain. If I move, is it going to come and kill me? Because I want to analyze these things. You know, analyze this, analyze that. But I feel like it's very hostile. I don't know if I'm the only one feeling that, but there's definitely a sense of hostility between these ants. Oh, they appear to be leaving. Oh, wait, let's sneak in here and do this quietly. Cool, cool, cool. What do we do with this? We're out of charges. Acorn shovel. Back home. Run, 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 run. Leave me alone, giant ants of death. Leave me alone. I just want to go home to my base where my cool structures are going on. <sighs> it's kind of scary having to deal with all of these giant uh, ant monsters. But since it has been a while, guys, uh, be sure to like the stream so more people can check it out. If you got any questions and stuff during or after, let me know. And, uh, yeah, let's see what else we can build here. So we got a bunch of new stuff that we can create. Plank palette. So they can be neatly stacked there. A log palette. Weed logs, okay. Base buildings. Now we've got... Oh, a roof! Uh, roof. Roof corner. Roof interior. I don't think my building's really set up well for roofs, but kind of cool. Clover hood. Clover poncho. What's that compared to the ants? It's kind of not too bad. Guess we could make one of those. Acorn shovel. Dig up grubs. Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. I want the grub stuff. Now I've got armor on, isn't that cool? Oh, we got friendly chat. Oh, so we got quick construction reel, or wheel with up on the D-pad. That is helpful. Then we got emotes. Yeah, air guitar. And then you can, oh, okay, give feedback. I'll go third, first person. Okay, so you can do third person. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. 
I did not know that. I gotta be playing around with that stuff. I pissed off the ant gods. Seriously, those ants were insanely aggressive for some reason. But does this burn forever? I don't know what he's building here, but it's kind of cool. Is it for, like, water collection or something? I don't know. I'm kind of amazed by it. But I definitely want to build the acorn. Where do you get an acorn shell from? Like, where am I going to find that? We have to analyze it. Like, it doesn't really give me a context in regards to where to find that. I want to be able to build it. Help a lot. Hmm. I kind of want a plank storage, though. Wouldn't that be helpful for, like, collecting all of our resources and stuff? On hornets? I am not an expert on hornets. Yeah. He discovered a wood. That's pretty cool. I have a chill little area. That's where he's putting all the stuff down. I am so all right, so we all got to ready up and sleep, and then we can go to the next day. That's kind of a neat touch. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're building something. We should make camp I would tonight. think so. Oh, my lean two is pretty damaged. Can I even, like kill it? There we go. Now we can go. I thought I was the one that initiated the sleep. No, hmm, that's weird. It's a new day. I definitely want to find some. Uh, You know, acorn shells? I don't know where you'd get them from, though. They like, gotta be out there. I need a level 2? Higher tool? Hmm. Alright, well, let's go back and see if we can analyze anything we have, uh... We haven't done yet. Hopefully those mean, uh... They're still here? Oh no, oh no, oh no, no. <gasps> what did we do to make the ants hate us so much? Run away from the ants. They're not AFK, they're uh they're building stuff. They're creating things. They seem to know what they're doing. A lot more than I do even. It's actually kind of impressive. Grab some more sap. Hmm. Oh, I kind of want to go eat. Those. Great. We got some pretty good supplies going. Oop. Oh, the sun's coming in. Yeah, I don't know if I should just leave this running and streaming, or if I should just call it for now. Kind of cool. Hmm. Yeah, it's a fairly wondrous world, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of a, a lovely setup and everything like that. We got a lot going on here. I should have maybe made the fort bigger, but that leaf was causing a problem. The ants were slipping in. I don't know if people were watching at that point, but like... The ants were streaming in here and causing issues. I collect more of this stuff. Like, did he actually put down, like, a thing to collect stuff or no? Hmm. I'm gonna go out and see what else we can explore quickly. Or explore, but find. Dry grass trunk. Is there something in the water we can get? I actually didn't know this had water mechanics. That's interesting. I wonder if you can get like a breathing apparatus. Choke it down, Pete. Uh, it's worse than Dad's Brussels sprouts. What is this? Ice caps. Oh, they're like the uh, the mints, right? 
I do need to also find more water and food. I haven't seen any little bugs in a while. Is he killing the bugs? Is that a ladybug fighting ass? Huh. You know, when I started today, this wasn't one of the things I was thinking was going to happen. It's just a ladybug fighting an ant. I don't know, hornets are kind of deadly, you gotta watch out for them. Hey, ladybug. <gasps> oh, the big ants fighting the ladybug. And the two juggernauts are going at it. I think if I got any food, I do not. This is a smart strategy, actually, using the ladybug to fight the ants. That's the acid gland. Get him, ladybug! Yeah, you got this! Ladybug's the best. Okay, well, we'll analyze some bits while the ladybug's fighting those things. The mandibles? Hmm. Let's see what we get here. This is a neat mechanic, though, for discovering new things. So the ant parts are different. What about the gnat fuzz? What can we do with this? Uh, no new stuff? Well, that sucks. Did Ladybug kill all the ants? Thank you, Ladybug. Thank you. Look at that. That warrior. That hero going off into the distance. Doing its Ladybug things. What a legend. Ah, oh, that's one awesome Ladybug. It will forever be thanked. I don't know what we should call it. We'll call it Ladybugga? I don't know. Can't think of a cool name, but you guys can, maybe. Just one cool Ladybug. I think I'm like dying of starvation here or something. Remember this stuff in here. Yeah, my inventory's been better. I think I'm dying of thirst and hunger, which is not a good thing to be dying of. What prompted me to get this game? Uh, well, I, I check out, like, all of the Xbox, like, exclusives and stuff. This is an Obsidian game. Uh, it's cool, you know, like, the visuals, I think, are pretty cool, too. You know, in terms of it being, like, the scale is really neat. Uh, I like survival games. They do pretty well on the channel, because I do a lot of DayZ and stuff. So, yeah, a couple different ways. I just wanted to check it out and see what it was like. I mean, it's on Game Pass, so it's not the, uh, the biggest deal in the world, but, uh... Yeah. Has local multiplayer? I'm not sure. I don't think so. Maybe. I didn't check into that, honestly. I need to stay hydrated because I'm dying of thirst. Like, I am dying of hunger, so we're going to call it for now, and, uh, you know, I'll maybe...